Hello everybody and welcome back to Children's Church. I have a question for you this morning. How many of you can't wait to be a grown-up? Think of all the things you aren't allowed to do now that you can do as a grown-up. You can't order off the adult's menu, you can't drive, you can't stay up as late as you want, you can't buy whatever you want, you can't earn money, you can't skip out of school, can't eat pizza every night. Won't being a grown-up just be awesome? But believe me, being an adult is not all it's cracked up to be. They have to pay insurance and taxes and bills and rent. They're lucky if they have enough money for pizza once a week, let alone every night. And they have to work really hard for this money and then still come home and cook and clean and do everything else that needs to be done. But still, I'm sure some of you would love some of the freedom that comes with being an adult. You're free to make your own choices about what to do on the weekends, and you're free to serve God and find your purpose, right? Well, actually no. That's one thing you don't have to wait for. To serve God, you don't need to be an adult. You can do it right now. You can find your purpose now. You can be a bold and loving force for Jesus right now. It doesn't matter if you're in grade 5, grade 2, or even grade R. God can use you. Just to prove this to you, I'm going to tell you a story about a kid in the Bible. Now, we read about him in the Gospel of Luke. Usually when we read Luke, we focus on the story of the angel appearing to Mary and telling her that she would give birth to the Messiah. But before the angel Gabriel spoke to Mary, he spoke to Zechariah, telling him that his wife, who had never been able to have a child, would give birth to a son. Zechariah's son would be Jesus' cousin. He's known as John the Baptist. He would be the one who would prepare the way for Jesus. He was so in tune with his purpose that he was preparing the way for Jesus even before he was born. Zechariah was silent until the birth of his son. But after John was born, he told everyone what the Lord had said about John. God knew who John the Baptist was long before he was born. He knew that John would be a great ambassador, a man who would prepare people for the coming of, of Jesus and then step out the way when Jesus was ready to begin his ministry here on earth. He knew this because God made John and gave him that very purpose. God made each one of you watching this video God knew you long before your parents even met. He had a plan and a purpose for your life. And even now, he is preparing you to live out that purpose. And you definitely don't need to wait to be a grown-up to fulfill that purpose. You can serve God today. God can use you in this church, in your house, in your school, God can use you by serving others, by being a helping hand, by being a good listener. You can serve God by telling others about Jesus and by inviting them to come to church. You can serve God by praying. You can pray for your friends, for your classmates, for your family, for your pastor. Prayer is a very powerful way to serve God. And it's something that you can do whether you're young or or old. God has plans for your life. He has a purpose and had that purpose long before you were born. God can use you, just as he did John the Baptist, to help others to meet Jesus. Ask God to show you your purpose. Ask him to use you. You don't have to wait to be a grown-up for God to use you. You can start serving Jesus today. Let's pray and worship together. Dear God, thank you for giving each one of us a purpose, even before we were born. Help us to start serving you now, even when we're kids. 
Thank you for using us, even though we are young. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. You don't have to be grown up Or to be a Christian Don't need to be clever To know you're on the way to heaven But you need God's love And you need His Holy Spirit And that's what you get When you get to know Jesus You don't have to be grown up Or to be a Christian Don't need to be clever Yes, I do. I know Jesus. Yes, I do. I know Jesus and I love him too. I know Jesus and I love him too. I know Jesus. Yes, I do. I know Jesus. Yes, I do. I know Jesus and I love him too. Yeah. I know Jesus and I love him too. You don't have to be grown up. You ought to be a Christian. Don't need to be clever. To know your own. Yes, I do. I know Jesus. Yes, I do. I know Jesus and I love him too. I know Jesus and I love him too. I know Jesus. Yes, I do. I know Jesus. Yes, I do. I know Jesus and I love him too. Love him too. You don't have to be grown up or to be a Christian. Don't need to be clever to know your own you need God's love And you need His Holy Spirit And that's what you get When you get to know Jesus That's what you get When you get to know Jesus That's what you get When you get to know Jesus Get to know Jesus